love to be with all of you today, but uh, as you can see, I'm not quite in India at the moment, quite far away from Mumbai. I'm actually in Perth. I'm waiting for the start of another test match and uh, I'm hoping it might be a little bit like it was with Perth in, uh, in 2008. We are, at a, we are at a beautiful spot, I must admit, but then uh, I'm sure you guys are not in uh, such a bad spot yourself either. Right, I got, I, got, I got your mail. As I said, I'd have loved, loved to be there and I was very intrigued by the line, all you've got is all it takes. It's an interesting line, as long as all you've got contains some good old-fashioned stuff, perseverance, grit. These, these are the kind of qualities that have uh, always appealed to me. You'll see talent, you'll get, uh, you'll get people who'll, uh, who'll intimidate you with their talent. But if talent is all they've got, then I'm afraid they haven't got too much. Give me someone with grit and perseverance and the ability to fight it out day in, day out. Someone who goes and gives 100% every day Whereas someone who flashes and dazzles once in a while and, and you know exactly which, who's going to be on my side. Right, so what are other things you need to look at with, uh, with all you've got is, is all it takes. I've looked at three qualities that have helped me in life. I often talk to people about those. Uh, some of them are a little unfashionable, a little unglamorous. But remember, we are running a 10,000 meter race. We're not running a 100 meter race. And uh, as you'll see in 10,000 meter races, someone will suddenly keep streaking ahead of you. But those that streak ahead often sort of fall out of the race quickly enough. The guys who finish are the guys who pace their race very well. So I'm going to tell you about these three things that, that uh, have, have done okay with me. And uh, I, I'm pretty, surprised, pretty uh, certain they'll have done, they'll do okay with you. The first of those is honesty. I know you'll see a lot of people moving ahead in life, not necessarily honest, not necessarily uh, doing what, well, sometimes doing what it takes. But I'll tell you one thing, I've learned in life that the most important thing in life is to sleep well. And if you're sleeping well, you're thinking well, if you're thinking well, you've got a better chance of doing well in life. And as we've seen in recent times, some of the people who streak ahead, who are dishonest, find themselves in slightly uncomfortable, cramped rooms at, uh, at a particularly good age in life. So honesty is something I've always believed in. We all live with our own value systems. But I've, I've met enough people who've been honest and successful to believe that one doesn't come in the way of the other. The other is humility. You'll, you, you'll see a lot of people around you who'll tell you, you know, I'm so and so and I've done this and I've done that. And some, somehow the world we live in, especially in Mumbai, doesn't value humility very much. It's about selling yourself all the time. It's telling people how good you are. But you know, eventually, if other people are saying how good you are rather than yourself, you'll make it. But humility is not just about that. Humility is also about accepting where you're wrong. And I think you'll find a lot of the great players. I find the Australians humble. And you might say, well, what an idiot. I mean, why, why is he talking like that? To me, humility means understanding where you're wrong and then saying, okay, if I have to get to somewhere and I'm not quite there yet, I will work hard to re reach the place I want to reach. But it starts with understanding the fact that you're not quite there yet. And so I, I find that some of the genuinely great people are genuinely humble about, uh, about, their, about their craft. If you're a Tendulkar, you try hard even after so many years. If you're a Rahul Dravid, you, you try very hard. You know where you're not good enough. You know where you need to try harder. I think you'll find that with even the so-called brash people. But they always know where they're lacking and where they need to go. So there's honesty, there's humility. And then there's that good old-fashioned thing, hard yards. Are you, just, are you willing to put it in? In all my life, I've met a lot of successful people. I've met successful people in sport, in entertainment, in mass media, in industry, in business, everywhere. And I found one thing common in all of them. At some point, they've uh, slogged their backside off. And I found that to be the one genuinely common trait in all successful people. Are you willing to put in the hard yards? And this is the best age to do it. The age when you have the energy, you've got everything to do it. This is the great age to do it. And you'll find all sportsmen have done it. It's not just you. So I'm not just one grandfather kind of guy who's telling you all these stories. So those are the three things for me. If uh, those are the three things that you've got, then, then you've got what it takes. All you've got is indeed what it, ta what it takes. So I hope you're having a fun time in Enthusia. I hope you're playing hard because sport is about playing hard and having fun at the end and if you don't have fun then sport is not worth playing so i hope you've had a lot of fun over the last four or five days and uh, i hope you have a lot of fun later on in life i'll just end with one little thing that i guess a lot of you have been telling yourself go and through have a lot of fun and uh, sorry i couldn't join you maybe some other time